Hello everyone and welcome to a new RPG Game Maker video tutorial. So this week what I'm going to talk about is I'm going to show you a couple of shortcuts that you may or may not be aware about, which hopefully going to help you to improve the pace at which you can make your maps, but also test your game. So let's get started. So the first shortcut that I want to show you today is the undo shortcut. So instead of clicking on the button undo at the top of the screen when you want to undo something, let's say that I was to destroy my map a little bit over here. And I want to undo what I just did. And I have two choices in front of me, either to click the undo button or what I could do is hold the control button on my keyboard and then press the Z button, which will do the exact same thing. That is, it will call the undo function of the editor and undo exactly what is the next things that need to be undone. Now, another shortcut which is unique to RPG Maker is to switch between the event mode and the mapping mode at the top of your screen. So how you do that is simply by pressing the F6 to go to event mode and the F5 button on your keyboard to go back to the mapping mode. And just by doing so, you are able to switch quickly between both modes. Another shortcut that I want to show you today is how to zoom in and zoom out of your map really, really quickly. So it's very simple. Once again, all you have to do is hold the control button on your keyboard. And while doing this, you have from there two options. The first one is you can either use your wheel on your mouse in order to zoom out and or zoom in. The other option is to use your keyboard on the numpad. You can either press the plus button to zoom in and the minus button to zoom out. Keep note also that wherever you are standing currently on your zoom, you can always use Ctrl-0 to go back to the one-on-one -on -one ratio. Okay, so another shortcut that I like to use a lot is to select the asset not from the file set on the left of the screen, like I showed you previously on my first video tutorial, but directly on the map. So if I hold the right-click button of my mouse and drag it, as you can see, it creates a selection. Now, if I was to select all the snow over here, and as you can see, I'm currently on pencil mode. So if I hold the left mouse button and I drag, it will draw snow everywhere, which right now kind of works as an eraser for this map. I could also, if I wanted to, select, let's say, um, the wood over here, right click on it, and then I can just paint it all over the place. Same goes for those trees over here, then do the same. So whatever you want to select, just hold your right mouse button and drag them to select the selection and then you can hold the left mouse button in order to paint exactly what you just selected. So now that I've just shown you how to select assets on your map and paint them elsewhere, there's something else that I want to show you with this. So let me first give you an example of a problem that can occur when mapping with RPG Maker and how you can solve that. So as you can see over here, if I was to take this mountain and try to drag it over here on the wall, as you can see, there's a couple of issues that happens. First one is that the walls on the left and on the right are kind of been destroyed because of the auto generator and the way our fridge maker kind of handles things. And also that's not exactly the shape that I want this from here over there. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna right click on the section that I want, which is this little corner over here. I'm gonna hold the shift button on my keyboard and then I'm gonna press with the left mouse button to paint this exact figure that I'm looking for. So the difference between holding shift and not holding shift, let me show you. So now I'm not holding it. And it kind of, kind of basically what it does is it takes for into account everything that is surrounding this item. And then the generator tries to pick what it, will, what it thinks is the best choice to put uh, as a graphic over there. While when you hold the left shift button, it actually pastes the exact image that you've selected on your map. So this exact part over here that I've selected. And so I can do this over and over again or whatever I will like. So there. So I can also fix the walls over here and over there by selecting this part over here on the left and this part over there on the right. Also take note that it does work for everything not just mountain so to give you another example let's say that i was to pick the grass over here and if i click over there on the left corner it kind of takes the graphic of a corner over there while what i actually want is kind of a result like this one on just on the right so what you can do once again 
is if I right click on this little portion over here, which is the exact asset that I want, hold my left shift button and then a paint, as you can see, doesn't create that little issue. And so you can use that to do a lot of things and a lot of corrections inside of PG Maker. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave you with two other little shortcuts that you may or may not be aware of. The first one is holding control and pressing the S button. Basically what it does is that it will save your project with the current uh, settings that you have. So just hold control and press S for save, which I'm sure a lot of you were already aware of. And another shortcut that I wanna show you is holding the control button and then pressing R, which will launch your game automatically so that you're able to test it. Okay, so that's it for this week's tutorial with shortcuts on how to improve your pace, but also the speed at which you can test your game. And make sure to tune in next week for another video. All right, take care, everyone.